As the year draws to a close, 60-year-old Tui Siu Chin takes out these antique hot pots and carefully cleans them. Though these tin pots look rough, only distinguished Manchu families were permitted to own them in the past. They are now rarely seen. There are more pots in the large kitchen. After a month of preparation, Chinese New Year arrives and hot pot will play a major role in the festival dinner. Thousands of Manchu people live in the town. They will light the fires in their kitchens and prepare traditional dishes for a special dinner on New Year's Eve. There's a feeling of joy, emotion, and anticipation for the coming year. Wulanchia is located along the Songhua River. The people here usually spend New Year's Eve at home. Jia's restaurant is busy for most of the year, but is quiet at this time. It's run by Tui and her husband, Jia Chenmeng, who inherited the recipe for Wula Manchu hot pot from his family. This restaurant is known for its authentic Wula Manchu hot pot. For years, the Jia family has worked and lived amid the steam of hot pots. They no longer consider it to be a rare delicacy, but on New Year's Eve, it's an important part of the festival. This tradition has been passed down for hundreds of years. Preparation for this festival dinner begins early in the morning. Tui Xiuqin has the strictest requirements when it comes to ingredients. The sliced meat is the most distinctive cut available. It's boiled with a broth made from a traditional recipe. Then it's steamed at a high temperature, cooled at a low temperature, and carefully sliced. Its rich flavor is maintained throughout. In the evening, it is boiled in a pot with other ingredients, adding to the flavor. In Guantong, Mrs. Fu is making exquisite window paper cuts out of red paper. Every year at this time, she puts up decorations like this, as well as the couplets on the doors, windows, and other places. This is done to dispel evil spirits and invite blessings. The Manchu people believe white is noble. When they write couplets for the coming new year, they once used white silk. It's only lately they've switched to the red paper popular elsewhere in China. The pork kept outdoors can be eaten anytime someone is hungry. The chunks must be thawed, but in the warm kitchen, this process doesn't take long. Rima Island in the Songhua River is well known for its frost. Hantun Village is on the way to the island.
Zhao Banyan hangs traditional Manchu paper cuts on the lintel. They are handmade and symbolize blessings and longevity. Zhao not only maintains this old tradition, but also inherited the thatched cottage from his father. It's one of the few traditional Manchu thatched cottages in the region. The style and decoration all retain the flavor of the traditional life of the Manchu people. The farmers may not prepare a luxurious feast, but they know very well what flavors their families like. Fish and meat are favorites, and vegetables are indispensable. The green onion and celery are grown in their own gardens, and are stored in a cellar throughout the winter. The dumplings will be made with these vegetables. They will be offered to the gods. Nothing is worth more than seeking peace and good fortune in the year to come. Back at Fu's home, the steamed buns are ready. They put a red dot on the buns. The buns will be offered to the Fu family's ancestors, along with other offerings to show respect and gratitude. The whole family takes part in the annual rituals on New Year's Eve. The ceremony is complicated, and they have to remain focused. After that, they come to the kitchen to prepare the special dinner. The busy yet joyful preparations have begun. Jia's method shows off their traditional skills and their life experience in northeastern China. The sliced meat has to be thin. The blood sausage has to be thick. The chicken has to be diced. The pickled Chinese cabbage has to be cut into thin shreds. They do this to ensure everything will be ready on time or to make the ingredients cook faster with more flavor. This process requires discipline, timing, and experience. Seafood makes the hot pot even more delicious. Nori, dried shrimp, and crab are necessary. Fresh oyster adds to the flavor. The people here are very particular about their condiment sauce. Leek flour sauce is their favorite. Mildly spicy, it can be used to spice up noodles and pickles. But more often, it is served with hot pot, especially in winter. A dish of leek flour sauce mixed with sesame paste, fermented bean curd, mashed garlic, and freshly fried chili oil makes the plain hot pot more sophisticated.
mosque, the table is packed with condiments. Fresh carp is stewing in the wok. Who also puts some flat rice noodles in it. They are boiled longer to make them chewier. As four cold dishes are served, ingredients are sizzling in the wok and creating an inviting fragrance. The chopping board is piled with things like ginger, pepper, and green onion. The cooks fry and boil in both large and small woks, as if they are preparing for a feast that will never end. This is the busiest time of New Year's Eve. The mixture of complicated and plain dishes displays a family's lifestyle and sophistication. The dinner is a celebration of flavors and cooking methods inherited from their ancestors. The delicacies of the Fu family are presented in eight big bowls. These are the major dishes and have different tastes of the Manchu people's traditions. They represent a rich and affluent life. The vegetables symbolize thrift. The combination of meat dishes and vegetables illustrates how life fluctuates between bitterness and sweetness. The middle of the dining table is reserved for the stewed fish which symbolizes abundance. The flat rice noodles symbolize surplus and smoothness. In northeastern China, people are sure to have plenty of dishes symbolizing good luck. It doesn't really matter how good they taste either. Nothing is more important than good luck. <laughs> <laughs> As a respectable elder, Fu asks her children to fill their cups and watches them drink up. She introduces each dish as if she's introducing a member of the family. Her words contain joy, sorrow, and warmth. prepared various dishes, hot pot is still the main dish on Tui Xiuqin's dining table. After the broth reaches the boiling point, the sliced meat, pickled Chinese cabbage, 
and blood sausage are put into the pot. Some prefer a more special way of eating this feast. They pour the soup from the hot pot into their rice, creating what's considered to be a delicacy. <laughs> Jiaxin doesn't need to worry about returning to Beijing this year. Six months ago, encouraged by his mother, he returned to Wulajia to help his parents with the family business. The taste of this bowl of rice with soup is something he would never forget. It is related to the most important things in his life, like growing with experience and love of the hometown. Without emotion and memories, the delicacies harvested from land or caught in the sea are simply ingredients. In Zhao Banyan's home, dumplings are the main food on New Year's Eve. They have to be boiled by the man of the house. In Manchu people's families, having dumplings for dinner on this special day means good fortune. Dumplings stuffed with meat, shrimp, and eggs satisfy the diner's appetite, and those stuffed with vegetables are offered to the gods. <laughs> Unlike the adults sitting at the dining table, the children play while enjoying these delicacies. This food will become a precious memory of their childhood. At night, the fragrance of the food cooked for this festival drifts through the air of this small and cozy looking town. The local people believe the food they have access to is predestined, so they eat until they're completely full. This special dinner carries hope for an affluent, trouble-free life. After dinner, the children go to sleep on the heated brick bed. The women wash the dishes in the kitchen. Zhao Banyan enjoys a quiet moment to reflect in the yard. The firelight removes the sense of loss. When he returns to the house, his thoughts go back to the happiness of welcoming New Year. Most families begin to make dumplings just after the New Year's Eve dinner. The children of the Fu family can't wait for the New Year greetings. The red envelopes which are handed out convey the older generation's love. The children won't understand the feelings and hopes behind the tradition until they grow up. After receiving the lucky New Year money, the children enjoy free time. They put peanuts in their pockets and go out of the house with lanterns. Lights and fireworks illuminate the sky and will stay in the children's memories. <laughs> 
Late at night, the dumplings in the pot on the Gia family's dining table steam once again. The broth has been prepared in this way for over a century. Making dumplings helps the household of this small town bid farewell to the old year. The darkness of the night is illuminated to protect peaceful life from the very start of the new year. In Mulaja, these old traditions are kept alive and the people enjoy a peaceful and stable life. The traditional festival brings together rituals and delicacies that demonstrate the affection of family members. As an important part of this ritual, New Year's Eve dinner is a familiar story told every year about the people's hard work happiness, affection, and love. The hot food and inviting fragrance of the kitchen and hearth are the symbol of home. Year after year, it brings warmth to the cold winter and offers hope for the coming spring. Residents of this town find joy in the special food prepared for Chinese New Year, as well as the dancing and games that have been passed down for generations. During the cold winter in northeastern China, the New Year not only means delicacies, but lives in the minds of local people with a common memory held by generations.